Vampires are known to have many weaknesses that balance out their incredible power, but the vampire lord Dracul happens to be weak into pretty much anything. The vampire hunter Ronald receives a job to infiltrate the, the castle of the so-called invincible progetiner and rescue a woman's son from the monster within. But upon arrival, he is dumbfounded to discover that the vampire quickly turns to act by something as trivial as a clap of his hands. Moreover, the child he was sent to save has merely wandered in to play the vampire lord's video games while he slept. In a drastic turn of events, Dracula's castle is destroyed. The fragile vampire decides to move in with the hunter who has only just defeated him. Ra Ronald, Dracula, and the vampire pet armadillo, John, form a quite extensive team as they are forced to work together while fending off Ronald's violent editor, the lesser vampire plague in the city, and even their fellow vampire hunters. This anime has about 12 hours set up here on October 4, December 20th, 2021, based off a comic series. It is comedy supernatural. Themes are adult cast, gag, humor, and vampire. It does have a second season. Each episode is 20 minutes and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. We are back with another anime review. And this time I have reviewed The Vampire Dies in No Time, which is kind of funny though, because you think you think vampire, you think he's all power or supernatural being. This is not this case. This is sadly the opposite effect that this vampire, Dracula, not Dracula, not Dracula, Dracula, and the vampire hunter Ronald, and I'm just like, my guy is weak to even a simple hand clap. And the guy and Ronald, who was at the time this child, was simply just playing video games while the Night Lord himself was sleeping. And I'm like, this vampire, I know it will be funny in humor, but <laughs> I think it just plays on a funny trend that we all think vampires are strong, which they are. But like in some cases, you just have a really weak vampire. And this is the, the spinning point of it. I think also... I feel like between these two, Ronald and Dracula, and their cute armadillo, which is surprisingly his name, John, uh, the series does grow on you time to time, but there are very some eccentric and interesting characters besides these two. And it's just kind of funny because it's like, you don't see how this pairing will work because, you know, vampire, vampire hunter, Khan destroys vampires for a living. And now they miraculously are living together because his house gets blown up. And I'm just like, this has all been one big misunderstanding. Like your son, ma'am, was fine. He just wanted to play video game and that was it. And I'm just like, so all this happened because of a misunderstanding. Now John is forced not John, Roland is forced to work with Jack Poo while finding off his crazy editor because apparently in this world, this vampire hunter writes books. So there is that for you, a little more chaotic to the ranch here. But overall, it was pretty like comedic anime, like playing back and forth between this parody of like this vampire is super, super, super weak. And now they're just getting these crazy shenanigans and these adventures as they try out to like balance this coexistence together and maybe eventually try to kick Dracula out of his place or somewhat but now that they're somewhat of a really dynamic duo in this sense they really have to learn how to trust each somewhat trust each other and work together which if you watch this series you're just like oh this is a roller coaster of a lot but it's funny I really did enjoy it. I like how they play off of each other and you know I think this is one of the most interesting observed comedy about vampire hunters and vampires that I've seen in a quite some time um I feel like they all both just share a one brain cell and that's including with the vampire's armadillo and I think overall it was just really interesting you know the, the opening ends on like very unique designs are very interesting but probably like all the characters behaviors goals motivations I think overall there's something that you really have to get accommodated with because like if you're not used to this type of dynamic uh i think it's, it might throw some people off but definitely check out the vampire dies in no time definitely check out season two if you haven't already and let me know what you think down in the comments below comment what anime you want me to review next and definitely check out how ronald and dracula might it is not to tear you apart but just wait and see and watch the anime for yourself and let me know what you think comment down below what you think and i'll see you next time for another anime review until then bye